Hi guys, Craig Beals from Beals Science again, and today I'm going to show you how to make a fire tornado on your desktop. This is one of the great sort of demos in science class, not only to show fire, but to show how fire can turn into a tornado. And actually this simulates a real tornado very well. All we need here, I've got a Lazy Susan, a cheap one, and then a wire mesh garbage can, and then just something a little bit to start on fire. So check this out, this is one of my favorites. So this is what we're going for. This is the fire tornado on the tabletop. Isn't it cool? And all it requires are a couple of supplies. You need to get a lazy Susan or any rotating tray that will easily spin around. Then I've got some poster putty. This is the sticky stuff that you put behind paper to stick to a wall, but it comes off pretty easily. It works really well for this. Then you're gonna need a wire mesh garbage can or some wire screen, but the, the garbage can's great because it's nice and sturdy already. Then I like to put some heat resistant fabric down in the bottom because this is going to get hot. And then of course you need some sort of glass that's going to resist the heat. I'm using Pyrex. I'm using 91% isopropyl alcohol. And please don't try this at home with the alcohol. It is flammable and it will hurt. And then once you get it spinning, watch this. The fire tornado comes alive. Can't you just do this without all that other stuff? Well, let's see. So I went ahead and lit a fire on the tabletop with some isopropyl alcohol. Cold air moves in, hot air rises because it's less dense, but it's not spinning and it's not making a tornado. We do know the hot air is rising up. So then I put it on the Lazy Susan and I spun it, spun it, spun it. Now it's just doing the same thing. The flame's kind of moving around a little bit, but nothing spectacular because there's no way to get the air moving. But that's what the wire mesh does. It causes these vortices to form inside and that causes our tornado to form. So the hot air is still rising up but the cool air is coming in. The cool air has some angular momentum because we're spinning it and as it spins and starts to rise up out the top it spins even more as it interacts with the air that's rushing towards the hot flame. You get a fire tornado. So that works great. That makes a really good fire tornado up on the desktop but you know me. I can't just stop there. I had to see if I could go bigger, which is why I got myself two more garbage cans, stacked them on top. We've got a hole in the bottom there, and I'm gonna see if we can double the size of the fire tornado. A little more poster putty around the edges here to put the two waste baskets together. The poster putty actually works really well and seals up nice and tight. And then you spin. So I put the flame in, and look at this, it's twice as tall. All the way to the top. Yeah! Yeah! You could just sit here and watch the fire tornado all day. It's beautiful. It's almost whimsical. Now, of course, I couldn't help myself. I had to make an even bigger one. And that's in a different video. You can see the link to it up there. It's also in the description down at the bottom. But if you want to see this on a massive scale, click on that up there. Or if you want to see some other things going on in science, you can click on any of the links you see there. Or I've got all my videos and a lot more instructions over at BealScience.com. The main goal here is just keep on learning.